Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, checking in with a poppy seeding update. I am so thrilled. I cannot wait to show you all the places where the recently sown poppies and other plants uh, are germinating. So without further ado, let me turn the camera around and give you up close views. So we're gonna start right here at these pots that were sown um, the week of Thanksgiving. And this pot here is Pephaver Reese. And this here is Pephaver Somniferum. So the big bread seed poppy and the kind of World War II commemorative poppy. Now, obviously I sewed these really thick. I don't care. I'm not gonna do anything here. The one thing that I do wanna do actually is um, take, the, take the leaves out that have fallen because the leaves will definitely impede germination and plant development. So you, these, you can see why they have to be sown right on the surface because look at how tiny these seedlings are. And you don't want the leaves to be laying on them and basically making it so that they can't get any sunlight. Like you can see there uh, by taking that leaf off, hopefully these seedlings will stand upright. So this is often why I will tell people like, I like to tell people to sow their poppies on Black Friday because that's a day everybody can remember. But depending on what kind of trees you have in your property, you might wanna wait until after the leaves fall. Um, so for instance, these are the leaves of um, a water oak that is planted right there. Well, a, a, I should say a squirrel planted it. And it's finally now almost completely deciduous. There's still some leaves on there, but now would be actually a great time to go ahead and start getting your poppy seed sown because all the leaves are down. You can easily just put soil right on top of the fallen leaves. That way the leaves will decompose, but then you can get seedlings put down on top of them. So remember the poppies need light to germinate. So they've got to be right on the surface and you don't want the seedlings to be covered up by any leaves, including even small leaves like these water oaks. So I'm just gonna take a minute to uh, get these all pulled off and then we'll walk to another section of the garden. And we've got Sophia as our model cat here. Of course the wheat germinated like a champ, it always does, it's so reliable. I'm over the moon excited about the poppy germination. I actually just randomly tossed poppy seeds into these pots. And you can see, like, I just cut back the coleus and stuff and just left them. And look at all the poppy germination happening there. So that's great news. And then over on this side, we have got kale in this one. And this is also not as impacted by the leaves, but I certainly think that it doesn't hurt. To, to take any of the leaves out, just so that they don't get in the way of the plants really growing out to fruition. Here we've got lettuce. This is the wildfire mix. Same thing here. I mean, you could probably at this stage just take a leaf blower, blow the leaves out. Um, the plants I think are established well enough. Um, I don't really mind just coming through and hand picking them out. So, yep. Dennis's bench looked awesome all summer, and I think that it's gonna look awesome all winter and definitely be putting on a show in the spring. All right, on this side of the fence, this is where we sowed seeds. This area was done on November 12th at the seed sowing class, and it is amazing. Obviously, you see wheat there. And then in here, we've got poppies, We've got California poppies germinating. We've got what I think is probably Larkspur. Um, so all of it is coming along. You can see it's just a great, great ground plane coverage. There, once these things really start to grow out, there won't be any room for any undesirable plants to get established in here. So you don't want to weed and you want to have a beautiful spring display Direct seeding is 100% the thing you should be doing. So now in contrast, this is all self-sown and this will happen if you allow it to. And you can see these Larkspur are really well established and I didn't do anything. This happened on its own. Now I've got some weeding 
to take care of in here. Um, but overall, I'm really happy to have this section to be able to demonstrate self-sowing sandwiched by November 12th seed sowing. And then over here, which is what we did on November 19th in the seed class. And these are just starting to germinate now. And I, I see actually a lot of buckwheat, which is really funny. Uh, we did not sow buckwheat, that is self-sown. What we're really looking for in here are these tiny little poppies. And we did a bunch of different things in here. So it'll be really exciting. I think we did Larkspur, Delphinium. Um, obviously we did poppies. I can't totally remember. And this is the disadvantage. Um, we didn't record it. And so I don't have anything to go back to. Uh, maybe some of the participants will remind me of what we sowed, but great germination. And that's what you're looking for right there. Just leave them alone. Do not touch them. That is, that is success. And just stop with success. So I've been getting a lot of questions because people think, oh gosh, I missed Black Friday. It's too late. It's, it's not too late. I just don't really advise you to sow your seeds earlier than Black Friday. But really, any time the month of, of December, specifically in zone 7 through 9, that's the ideal time. You don't want to sow them too early because then the plants are actually like growing too tender and when we get cold, they get cold damaged. You want them to be at this like really kind of small growth rate uh, so that they just sort of maintain um, as basically a, essentially as a ground cover all winter. And then when we do finally start to get consistently warm, that's when, you know, they really like grow out and, and bolt and then start to flower. But so there's this, this magic window that's basically about six weeks, the end of November through the end of December. Uh, and that is the best time to apply this method with poppies, larkspur, nigella, bachelor buttons, um, centuria, or centuria is bachelor buttons, um, lunaria. Um, it's actually a, a wide number of plants that are like cool season annuals that in the southeast, it gets hot too early in the spring. You can't do this as a spring application because they just won't grow out. These plants all require cooler soil, which is why they are a late fall planted thing that will grow through the winter season. Now you can see behind me here, this entire bed, this is all self-sown nigella. It's gonna be, it's gonna be completely exquisite in the spring when it's in bloom. And again, I haven't done anything to this bed. I haven't even come in and cut like the, the sorghum and, um, uh, lemongrass back. I haven't done anything to this bed, but all of that green ground cover, those are all self-sown. So what I think the real goal for me always is to encourage people to garden smart, not hard, um, you know, grow plants in a, a low maintenance way. And there is nothing lower maintenance than plants seeding themselves and providing you outrageously beautiful spring displays where you had to do literally nothing. Now, speaking of self-sowing, generally the poppies only self-sow in stupid places, so just be aware of that. You can see here, these are self-sown poppies. They're quite large. I wouldn't be surprised if these actually end up suffering some cold damage, um, especially if we get very cold, but they are bottle adjacent. Now remember, these bottle walls that I have aren't just because we drink wine. It, they're also here to create a microclimate. And, you know, the air inside the bottles, when the sun actually does shine, heats up and it actually does provide kind of a, a microclimate adjacent. So, um, again, you can't transplant these. They develop a taproot. So you just kind of got to let them be where they are. I just accept that in the spring, this pathway isn't all that passable because you can see they're kind of self-sown all throughout. Some more self-sown in really inconvenient locations, obviously here adjacent to these big 100-gallon uh, root pouches. But these poppies, I mean, 
They look great, but this is the kind that will definitely be sensitive to a cold weather snap. So you don't really want them to be this far along in the middle of December because we still have to get through January and February where we have a lot of up and down temperature spikes. So again, these are self-sown. They're in a really inconvenient location. Look, right in the pathway. You're gonna hardly have any room to walk here. And they are too far advanced for their own good. Okay, before I go into all of that walkway, let's look here. This is another space that we did during the seed sowing class and I can see cat prints through it. Um, but you see great germination rate. These are all poppies and then mixed with that are lettuce. And I think we did some kale in here. Um, but this is going to be really, really nice. Um, great germination rate. Yet again, this was done November 19th. And then, of course, adjacent is the giant self-sowing patch of arugula. I planted seed of arugula like eight years ago, and it just continuously uh, produces. It flowers, it sets seed, and then new plants germinate. Talk about low maintenance and completely delicious. So I think this border, it, I'm really pleased to see this germination rate. And it's in a bed where I want it to be. A contrast to where they sow themselves, which is literally right in the pathway. Now, I swear, if you have trouble getting poppies to grow, lay down some Chapel Hill grit or grit in general and sow your seeds in that. They're guaranteed to, to germinate. And especially if it's in a place that you walk on a regular basis. Um, yeah. This is actually a pathway that I use with regularity. There's all kinds of stuff germinating in it. A lot of weeds, but also a lot of poppies. I mean, even here, we've got poppies right here mixed with the bane of my existence, vetch and other undesirable plants like this, this geranium. Um, I am not going to take the time to weed this pathway right now, but eventually I will. But you could see poppies right here in the walkway. You know, they just can't help themselves. So when in doubt, sow your poppy seeds in your path. Well, the germination here is off the charts and you can see the big clump of wheat and look at all the poppies. OMG, so many poppies. It's gonna be spectacular. And I believe this was the Reese poppy mixed with California poppies. So um, a little shorter than the Papaver somniferum. Look at all that germination. I mean, this is just a solid ground cover, essentially, of poppies. Now, I've also got uh, peas that have recently germinated, which is great, because I'd like to train those to grow over this arch. And then heavy poppy germination over here as well. I mean, this, this is very exciting. All that is going to be so beautiful come spring season. And in this bed, last week during the um, weekly garden tour, I was like, maybe I forgot to sow it. Obviously I did not forget to sow it. Look at all the seeds germinating. So you've got poppies here and that is buckwheat. Again, that's self-sown. Um, really, really high germination rate. Um, all, all through this bed. There are poppies everywhere and you can really see them now in this feed tank. So this is a mix of the wildfire lettuce and poppies. And I guess I put some peas in here as well. <laughs> Probably can't help myself. Um, so this is going to be awesome. I am so excited to be able to have them growing in all these areas to be able to keep you all updated. And of course, I'm still working on clearing out the summer stuff so that um, I will be still be planting and doing direct seed applications 
in different parts of the garden. So be sure to continue to tune in, share, subscribe. Um, I'll be giving you more and more gardening tips all winter long. And I hope that this video will be, you know, useful for any of you who have sown seeds and will serve as inspiration for others so that maybe if you didn't do it this year, you will next year. But remember, there's still time. So you can still get, you know, place an order for some poppy seeds, go to the local garden center, check out Botanical Interests. They have a really nice collection of cool season annual flowers that are appropriate to be sown now through the month of December. Well, thanks so much for watching everybody. Happy gardening, and I look forward to sharing more updates.